Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more relationship stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My girl cheated on me, but she justified it. We dated for a year and a half and up until recently, we started having problems and last month she asked me to be her boyfriend since I never asked. Last week while drunk, I asked her how many people she'd been with while with me and she said four. I was heartbroken. She justified it by saying I never asked her to be my girlfriend, but we were clearly a thing. I asked her today where she sees herself in five years and she said, I want us to be a family and live together and have one baby in the next five years. I'm too old to be dating and I'm confident you are the one who checks all the green flags I look for in a partner. What do you guys think? Oh, so they were not exclusive. You know what? Dating in today's world is freaking weird. Like you can do everything a couple does. You go to their place, you sleep together and you eat together. But you guys are still not a thing. But there's obviously an easy way to just avoid all that is you just talk to each other about it. And if you guys don't meet the same way, then you guys are not the one for each other. So I'm just assuming they just never talked about it to each other. Like they dated for a year and a half and no one ever brought it up. So what did I tell their friends and family like who this person is? Oh, just a guy I'm seeing. I'm just testing the waters with him. That's a long time to be testing the waters. Like I totally understand why he feels hurt, but I also get hurt. Because today's dating world, you're not exclusive until you guys make it exclusive. You know what, I feel like this only happens with like younger couples. How are they 30 and they still haven't made it exclusive? You know what, we all know if the tables were flipped and it was the guy being like, well, we never made it exclusive, so I slept with other women. Everyone would be like, that's fine, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> My husband keeps accidentally locking me out of the house by locking deadbolt that can only be unlocked inside. Pretty much what the title says, my husband has repeatedly at least four to five times locked the deadbolt to our house so that I can't enter our home after work. I've had my keys each time, but the deadbolt can't be unlocked from the outside. He eventually lets me in after I've banged on the door, rang the doorbell and caught him. It normally takes at least five to ten minutes for him to get to the door. It's happened more frequently since we started marriage counselling. Am I crazy for thinking that this isn't accidental after so many times? Or that he doesn't give me even a shred of consideration since it keeps happening? Wow, he's petty. <laughs> Four to five times she's been locked down. Damn. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's brought it up to him so many times, right? If that keeps happening. But he keeps on doing it. I'd be pissed off. You know, not being able to go into your own house after working all day, dude, I would be pissed off. Like, I just want to get in and relax. Like, I don't want to be staying outside. I'm just assuming because this person is complaining now that it's never happened before. So it just means that he's doing this on purpose because it's not accidental if it's not like a habit. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's doing it on purpose. Hmm. <laughs> My mother-in-law got me a rubber chicken for Christmas and I don't know how to even approach this. So I got a rubber chicken for Christmas from my mother-in-law tonight. All the other son and daughter-in-laws got normal things like clothing, tickets to NBA games, gift cards, etc. But I got a yellow rubber chicken. I thought there was a second part to it. Maybe like a B&B &B start at a farm or something. But no, that was it. Side note, my mother-in-law has never liked me. I mean, you know why now? <laughs> Honestly, if I know someone doesn't even like me, I wouldn't even expect a present from them. At best, she tolerates me. We're not having children and she blames me even though it's both our decision. My wife thinks it's a cute gift since I'm funny. I think that I want to get an explanation about my gift. How can I even approach this? What explanation, bro? You know she doesn't like you. Honestly, just suck it up because there's nothing else you can do. The mother-in-law is just gonna stay toxic. She ain't gonna care. So the best you can do is just ignore it, you know? Act like you like the present so she doesn't win. She probably got you that present so you can be upset. But don't be upset. Just be like, oh my god, I love this present. I actually wanted this. No way you got it for me. Because there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> you can't make someone like you if they don't like you. I caught my girlfriend in the backseat of her truck with another man at 3 a.m. Girlfriend works at a bar and routinely goes out for drinks after her shift with other service industry friends. Last night at 3am, her location showed her in a park nearby which was odd. I went to a location nearby and her truck was parked with the engine running. I pulled up next to the truck to find her and another man in the back seat together. They had their clothes on, but unfortunately I was so caught off guard by the whole situation that I didn't ask any questions other than who's this, to which to reply with the man's name. I then quickly left them and drove back home upset over what I just encountered. 
She came home and is adamant that nothing is going on and that she didn't cheat. She claimed that they were just talking, but I continue to question her on why they were in the backseat talking. She claims she was taking him home from the bar and that he asked her to pull over so they could continue talking. She continues to state that she would never do anything to jeopardize our relationship. Am I being lied to? I think so. She can't come up with a good reason why they were in the back seat. Is it obvious that they were getting physical with each other? How can I get the truth from her? You don't need to be in the back seat to talk. I mean, you could be driving and talking to someone in the passenger seat. What is she on? <laughs> That's the dumbest excuse. What are you guys doing in the back seat? You guys are getting freaky, aren't you? No, we're just talking because we can't talk in the front. <laughs> Hello? Um, that just sounds so dumb. Because why would you go out of your way to go to the freaking back seat to talk? You gotta undo your seatbelt, get out of the car, or crawl to the back of the car? Like, why would you want to do that? Huh? It's just interesting that she wouldn't want to go home straight away after dinner. Right. Like, wouldn't you want to go home to your partner and be excited to see your partner because you're so tired? But no, you want to talk to another man at 3 a.m.? Yeah. That's F. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.